In this video, we're gonna go over how to install After Effects plugins along with my favorite recommendations for you. I'm ready to install my plugins into After Effects. For my plugins here, I have Video Copilot uh, featuring FX Console. So all I have to do is just click one of these and go ahead and copy it. It could be the folder or the plugin, either one doesn't matter. And all I have to do is copy it and import it into my plugins folder in After Effects. So all I have to do is go ahead and find it. So I'm just gonna go to this PC. Local disk C is where I have it saved. So if I go into my programs files, Adobe, and whatever current version of After Effects you have, right now I'm running uh, After Effects 2024. I click into that. Support files, you go to plugins, and then you can simply paste it in here. I already have the video copilot folder here, so I'm not gonna go ahead and paste, but this is where you would paste it. The fastest way to find your folder, especially if you can't find it, is just to open After Effects, like through a shortcut, however you do so. Go ahead and search for your task manager, and you have to run it as an administrator. So if you do control alt delete, this won't work. But you know, if you search it this way, it will. So once task manager opens up, you can go ahead to details and look for your after effects. I have it right here. You can go to open file location and then it'll take you right to the after effects folder. So once again, just support files, presets, and you should be good to go. That's honestly the secret hack that saves me so much time and nobody really talks about it. And just remember that you cannot do this while After Effects is open, or rather if you try to run it while After Effects is open and you try to paste it, it's not gonna show. You have to close it and restart. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up After Effects. So I have After Effects open here. All I have to do is click on new project and you go up to window and you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and then you're gonna see that all of your plugins are here. So once you click on them, they should open a little panel to the right or maybe like a little pop-up. And that is exactly how you install your plugins. And from here, you can go ahead and use them. Video Copilot FX Console is definitely one of my favorite plugins because they have so many options to really fast track your animation and video editing services. So some of the things they offer are things like uh, access to FX and presets like very quickly. You could create shortcuts. You can also export snapshots into PNG. So like a, if you need a single frame, and I think that's one of my favorite ones because that's how you can easily get high quality thumbnails from your After Effects. So what we have to do to simply use it is something like this. So if I create a new composition, let's just say this is 1920 by 1080, the usual okay. I created a new comp and then I have my animation. I have like a hello, right? I have my animation, whatever I want to show. I would go ahead and hit control space and it'll bring up the FX console. And from here, I have so many different options. You can go into the settings you can start playing with these and start saving some settings and presets and new animations, new shortcuts. So if you have like one of your favorite effects, like a drop shadow or a glow effect, you can easily just open this up and then apply it with a hotkey. So that's one of that's one of my favorites. And this is definitely my favorites where you can just take a screenshot by clicking this or shift F5. So now it took a screenshot. And now if you open the gallery, it's here and it kind of keeps a stash of your other screenshots that you've taken previously and you could go ahead and export them as a png or a jpeg you go ahead and export that and save it however you want and this saves so much time when you're trying to create a thumbnail when you're editing or animating that's just a small bit of what fx cold pilot has to offer make sure to check it out for yourselves to get the full scope all in all that is how you import your after effects plugins but a lot of people reached out to me and they asked me how exactly after i finished working on my projects do i export in the best possible manner so i need you guys to click this video if you're looking for the best tips and tricks to export in 2024 Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe if I helped you out at all.